Greetings, beardlings. Today we're having a bash at a giant steak challenge, which is meant for teams of two. Never really been into sharing, though. We're in Swaffham for today's episode. I'm looking for a joint called the White Heart. Where the heck is it? Excuse me, mate, you don't know where there's a, a place called the White Heart, do you? Sorry. Have you heard of a place called the White Heart? Oh, White Heart Inn? Yeah. Up there it says Great British Tavern. Down here on this digital sign thingy, it does say the White Heart. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. I um, messaged somebody about, you have a steak challenge? Is that right? Yes. Uh, I booked in for like 12.30 today, so I'm a bit late. Okay, Couldn't find yeah. somewhere to park. And then I'll, I got confused about the actual name of the place. Uh, yeah. Ah, right, okay, I see. Gentlemen for the steak challenge. Yes, that's, that's fantastic. That's, that's me. Nice, nice to, to meet you, mate. mate. Yeah, it's supposed to be for two people, right? Uh, you can either do it on your own, or you can do it with two people. I'll go, I'll go solo. I don't have, any, I if, don't have a wingman, so... If, if you're on your own, then you have 60 minutes. Right. And if you're two of you, then you have 45 minutes. Ah, right, okay, cool. That makes sense. Right. This is it. It's 100 ounces. No small feet. Doggo menu. That's a new one. Who's posh enough to buy the dog rump steak? Two-person job. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Three teams of uh, of two have completed it, but nobody's managed to do it of their own accord. Nobody yourself. except for yourself has been brave enough to take on even the stage attempted. solo. No, no oh, one's right. even attempted it. You're We've first. had. Over 50 pairs try it, only right. three have ever completed it. That's almost the same size as <laughs> as you, mate, I think. I'm not gonna eat you though, don't worry. I draw the lineup, babies. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. So at a place called the White Heart Inn today in Swaffham, spat everywhere. <laughs> it's in Norfolk, right? Yes, yep, Norfolk. You should have called this the Norfolk Enchant Steak Challenge. Well, 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 we might you, just rename it You can pay me for that later. <laughs> Normally teams of two do this, right? You get 45 minutes to finish as a team of two, but nobody's attempted it solo, so no, far. No, no one's attempted it as solo, you're the first. <sighs> Probably indicates my state of mind, really. And if you finish, you get the, it's the meals on the house? Yeah, absolutely. And it includes all the, the, uh, the sides as yep, well? Yeah, everything's included. Do you have to eat the big rind of no, fat? No, so we only expect you to eat the meat. Feel free to leave the big rind of fat on the edge. Yep, so we start the timer as soon as you cut into your steak. Right, okay. And then we'll leave you alone for an hour. I don't know where, I don't really know where to cut it, but um, I'll <laughs> cut a big wedge off. That'll do it. Thank you very much. I don't suppose you have any like barbecue sauce or anything like that? Yep, we'll get you some out. Thank you very much. Right, I'm gonna get rid of <laughs> the bits of fat on the end. All right, here it comes. What's up, Beef Army? I mean, Beard Army. Welcome back to another episode, and today it's a giant steak. Do you mind if we take a quick photo? tag? Go ahead, mate, go ahead. Oh, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. We've got loads more, just ask more if you need it. Huh? What a friendly chap. And good to know, too, because we're going to need plenty of lubricant to get this down. Look at it! This is what you call a steak. Not like that measly thing we did in Texas a few weeks back. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was, uh, that was pretty big too. But not this big. This is the 100 ounce challenge at the White Heart Pub in Swaffham. Fortunately, you uh, you don't have to eat that. The big strip of fat on the end. As a pair, you get 30 minutes to finish. But if you've got the chutzpah to do this solo, then it's 45. <sighs> This is hard work. The steak will be hard enough without all the sides. Yeah, so the steak itself is 100 ounces, but then you got the sides on top, which include chips, rocket, I think, some kind of foliage, onion rings, tomatoes, and of course, mushrooms. Apparently, 50 pairs have attempted this, four have been successful so far, but nobody has clocked it solo yet. Nobody's even tried, in fact. This is hard work. Is it? I'm starting to sweat, man. Uh, you've got big sweats already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's probably more the ambient temperature. 
and that thick furry jumper. My fingers hurt. <laughs> Yeah, always the toughest part of a steak challenge. Maybe I'm gripping my implements too tightly. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> the idea was to basically get halfway through the steak before using the sauce. And I think I pretty much accomplished that. <sighs> yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I love meat as much as the next dude, but after you've eaten three pounds of it, it gets boring, which is where the sauce comes in. That's gonna help with the, uh, the flavor fatigue, hopefully. Let's go strong. Get in there, get in there. Kind of. Okay, this is where it starts to become a, a feat of endurance more than anything. Just flipping the steak around here, trying to remove a big hunk of gristle from the end. <laughs> On the plus side, my beard should be really clean for a change. Yeah, what, 14 minutes in? And not a single napkin used? That has to be some kind of record for me, surely. We're, we're making our way right to the center of the steak now, as you can probably tell by the color of it. Take as many as you like, buddy. Well, again, I'm, I'm actually doing all right for time. I've, I've got like, I think, eight, I'm only, I've got 43 minutes left, I think. So, yeah, there you go. I'm doing all right, I think. My arms feel like they're about to drop off, but apart from that, I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, the, the last time they felt that tired was trying to do that drum roll in the chicken wing song. <laughs> that was hard. Let's separate the, the actual meat from the from the fat. Yeah, I, I don't want anyone saying that I, I missed the piece or something like that. Remember, you don't have to eat those big wedges of fat. Ah, oh, you big softy. Yeah, you definitely gonna need some soda cream on those fingers in the morning. I've abandoned the uh, the knife and fork now. We're going full caveman from here on in. And it looks like we're almost done with the steak, but no, there is, uh, in fact, lots left to go. It's, I don't know, there's probably like, what, 30 ounces? Nah, no, less, 20, 20 some ounces? <sighs> we're getting there. <sighs> Yeah, come on, you can do it. I just thought, in, in the background, is that one of those things people used to put in their beds before hot water bottles were invented? Maybe it's just me, but I don't know, sleeping with hot coals in a brass pan next to you doesn't sound safe. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, thank you. Ooh, tactical diet coke. That's how you know we're uh, we're getting towards the sticky end of things now. Still doing all right though. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, being a professional pig. Are we going to be in the mind if we sit behind you? No, you can sit there, uh, you, you will be in the shot, if, as long as you're all right with that. We're only oh, sitting, chatting and knitting. Knitting? Yeah. You knit me something? Maybe a bib or something? I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, that's no, fine. Oh my God, have you got to do it at a certain time? Uh, we better not stop you then. No. Look at that, I am honoured. Special guest appearance from the Swatham Knitting Association, no less. People say I never do collabs. <laughs> no, they were uh, very friendly and uh, supportive ladies. Passionate about wool too. Uh, I've never heard people debate textiles quite so vociferously. <laughs> anyway, we're actually almost done with the steak now. At 30 minutes, it's been a long slog, but we can uh, look forward to a few of the, the sides now. I feel like after all that meat, the mushrooms might actually taste good. You never know. This should at least help move some of it out tomorrow morning. Yeah, I wish you'd be so relentlessly descriptive. It's true though, nothing will occlude your entrails like eating 100 ounces of pure beef. So if you're gonna give this a bash yourself, make sure you finish that salad and uh, drink plenty of water too. What are we on to now? I think it's gonna be the, is it the mushrooms next? Mushrooms or chips? Almost there, uh, almost. Yeah, on to the fungus. 
And although I won't say I enjoyed this part, it was a pleasant change from uh, from me at this point. I, I, I will say that. Just the onion rings to go now. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I had to save the onion rings to the end, you know me. Anyway, we're almost done now. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. One final onion ring to go. Is that is, is the no, is, no, is that no, right? That's fine. That's yeah. okay. We're, we're, we're not anal and strict about it. It's just <laughs> final. The final onion ring. Final onion ring. <laughs> Thank you. With 22 minutes 43 seconds remaining. Oh my God! Well done. Well done. That's outstanding. <laughs> that, was, that was hard work. One of their wives was a midwife, and she said that's the sustainable weight of a viable baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a dessert menu? <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about that in the kitchen a minute ago, wondering who's going to do his signature, have you got a dessert? If you watch the videos, I can't not do it. Sadly, no, uh, no cheesecake, they're out of cheesecake, but... I went with some chocolate fudge cake, a little bit of cream on there. Oh, that was nice. Are you ladies, uh, are you part of like a knitting club then? Yeah. yeah. I actually have a normal hobby like that, you know. That's, we that's... take you out to knit. Yeah? Yeah.